Hello, Planet Earth. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. We're at IDK, my BFF, Jill730. I'm Preston L. Young, wishing you warm salutations and congratulations because you've made your way to the Buffington Post. Earlier this season on Girls, I was thinking about how Buffy would really love to be Hannah and only have Hannah's problems, which Hannah herself can't handle, but hello. So today I'm actually going to take a break from Buffy and we're going to review last night's episode of Girls, Season 4, Episode 5, Sit-In, because I was really struck by all of the parallels to Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. So, here we go. She is literally the Polaroid of perfection. She has everything and she'll give it to you in a second. Looks can't deceive. She wears her heart on her sleeve. So in this episode, of course, Hannah has just come back and found that Adam is with this Mimi Rose Howard character. But I'm not going to give you a synopsis of the episode, I just want to look at it and its parallels to A Christmas Carol. Okay, so Hannah finds all of this out about Adam, and rather than acting like an adult, she just says, oh, bah humbug, and she goes into her bedroom, right? And so the first parallel that we see is... Here comes Shoshana rattling her chains and basically trying to talk to Hannah and get her to come to grips with reality. Well, of course, Hannah's like, bah humbug, she's not having any of that. And so here comes Jessa with her bright hair and she's going to play the role of Ghost of Christmas Past for us. She comes to Hannah and she basically fills her in on everything she's missed. She fills her in on the past. and. Of course, Hannah's just like, oh, bah humbug, and she sends her away. And so then the ghost of Christmas present is always like very earthy and uh, kind of jubilant. And so in the middle of the night, she is visited by the second ghost, the ghost of Christmas present, who at this point is kind of taken on by two different factors. We've got Caroline and Laird. And then you've got Ray. So Caroline and Laird basically take Hannah out of her bah humbugness and they force her to kind of deal with the awkwardness of the present situation. You know, they're like showing her support and all this good stuff, but at the same time, their complete weirdness just totally takes Hannah out of her head for a second and allows her to be in the present moment. And then when she's with Ray, we see that she burns herself and she's taken out of her head again and she has to deal with the pain of the present moment and um after you know she burns herself and ray is like patching her up or whatever he's talking about like current events he's talking about what's going on right now in his life and it's very you know day-to-day -day humdrum kind of stuff and once again hannah is dealing with the present okay so, later on, toward the end, Marnie finally shows up, and Marnie basically says to her, forget Adam, it's time to start a new page in your life. Your future isn't with Adam. And she's, of course, playing your Ghost of Christmas Future, because, hello, Marnie has turned into kind of a scary character. But anyway, Hannah's like, maybe we aren't this artistic romance that I always thought we were and Marnie says basically you know maybe you're not maybe you and I are and she basically says Adam's not your future I am and so at the end of the episode Hannah stops saying bah humbug and she gives Adam her apartment and she's like here you can have this apartment you can have your tiny Tim and just enjoy your life whatever, right? And she says, don't call me kid anymore. And she leaves. She does exactly what Scrooge does. She sees the better of herself 
or what can be the better of herself, and she just keeps trucking. So I thought it was a good episode of Girls. Uh, the season's been kind of hit or miss. Uh, it seems, again, like they're just trying to throw stuff at the wall and see what sticks, but at the same time, Girls is always trying to get at something that it doesn't know what it's trying to get at because they are in their early 20s. So I hope you enjoyed me comparing girls to Charles Dickens, but like I said, I thought there were a lot of good parallels, and if you'll watch the episode and keep that in mind, I think you'll see what I'm seeing. So good on you, Lena Dunham. You did a great Christmas Carol, and I'm looking forward to seeing what's going on with the rest of the season. So like, dislike, comment, share, subscribe, and as always, question, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. She is literally the Polaroid of perfection She has everything and she'll give it to you in a second Looks can't deceive She wears her